Hey, what's up guys? This is One Chums right here and today I'm going to do a video on how to upgrade from regular um, controller, Apex controllers to Apex Fusion, okay? So as many of you guys know, I've been out of YouTube for a while. Uh, I've been down a couple of projects in, in the background. I have a 72 gallon ball front tank and I did a, DI, um, a DIY canopy, which I'm going to uh, release that video later. Uh, but the reason why we're doing this video is because I'm going to show you how to upgrade to Apex Fusion. Okay, uh, I did have a Reef Keeper Light Plus uh, that I decided to sell because I didn't feel like using it. I feel like Apex is way, way better. It has more options, uh, especially with the Mac and PC version. Um, as you guys know, Reef Keeper Lite is only for uh, PCs. So that's it. That's that was uh, also a main reason I decided to to change from Reef Keeper to Apex Fusion. Okay, so um, the first thing you're gonna do, we're gonna go to Apex uh, Fusion. Um, notice that I'm just gonna try to guide you through the process because when I did this, I just record the screen on my computer. So I will try to guide you as as better as best as I can. Okay. So, like I said, the first thing is you, uh, the first thing you're gonna do, you're gonna go uh, to Mozilla Firefox. In this case, if you have Google Chrome, it's okay, or whether, uh, internet or Safari. So you're gonna do and go and open a new tab, and type Apex uh, Fusion. As you see, take us to the first link, and then we're gonna click there, Apex Fusion Beta Program. Uh, as you see, it says Apex Fusion Open Beta. Uh, if we want to try it, we're simply going to go to uh, HTTP ApexFusion.com. It's all about control, so we're going to get control out of our uh, main tank. And what we're going to do is we're going to create an account. Since it's in beta, not everybody can try it. As you can see, uh, in this... Um, time is not allowing me to do it but I tried another time and it did allow me to do it the only thing you have to do is just literally type your email and send the, uh, the uh, click the send button so it's gonna send you um, a new link as you see uh, I already I'm showing you the screen here we've sent a welcome message to your email uh, please review the message to activate your Apex Fission account so now we're here on our, on my email and then I'm going to go uh, and read through uh, the, the article. Okay, uh, so we click on that and as you can see, uh, it, it has all the uh, the guide to help you do the firmware upgrade first. Okay, so they tell you they they, they already create a letter and, and which way we're going to upgrade the firmware okay so the first thing we're going to do is back up uh, our current controller which way we're going to back it back it up um, by this time i hope that all of you guys have uh, the the apex browser installed so what i did is that i opened the apex browser install and then selects the apex controller and then open the browser that what we're going to do right now is uh, we're going to back up uh, the existing configuration that I have in, in the in my Apex controller. So I go to configuration and then load slash uh, slash save. I'm going to select all the outlet configuration, profile configuration, prop names and everything. And then I'm going to click uh, click save configuration. OK, we're going to save the file uh, at the beginning it's going to save open with, but no, you're going to save it. OK, so you're going to click OK. And whether you're going to save it in your desktop or you want to save it in your downloads or any particular folder, I just uh, save it on my desktop and click OK. So after you save it, uh, you see it's here on my on my desktop. And I'm literally going to go out of the Apex uh, browser. And then, so we already uh, do the uh, step number one, okay? So step number two, the Apex and the computer must be installed through a wire internet, not uh, wireless. So you gotta make sure in your Mac that the Wi-Fi is off, okay? You can also do it, open the browser, uh, the internet utilities, uh, which is something that I'm gonna do, but my computer is running kind of slow, too much stuff going on with it. So we are just gonna wait uh, for the computer to to open the uh, 
system preferences. So as you see, uh, my internet is the green button right there and, and it's working through the internet cable, not through the, the wireless service, okay? So that's something that you guys have to keep in mind that you have to be connected to, to the computer via cable okay okay the other thing the other is download and open the apex utility flash utility so i'm going to download the mac version of the flash utility i'm going to open it this time because i'm just going to i just want to open it and we're going to open it and we're going to transfer it to it's kind of a program that we have to transfer to our application. So it's an application that we have to do it, okay? So you see the DMG just open and I'm gonna uh, basically drag it to my application. So I'm wait, I wait for it to, uh, to install. I close the DMG. After I close the DMG, I'm gonna go to my applications open the the flash utility click open and then welcome to apex uh, flash as you see uh, there's a wireless uh, sign at the bottom of, of the application we're gonna click that and what it's gonna do is gonna search for any apex device that is uh, in in or within our network okay so we're going to wait for the uh, flash utility to find the the controller and then we're going to click ok we are also going to add it to to our system okay so we're going to wait and then we're going to click ok after it uh, after we add it then we're going to do the the version the upgrade as you see we're going to click on update firmware as per instructions we're going to wait um one thing that uh, is very important and it also going to help you guys uh for um, the setup of your apex browser the apex uh, password and user id default is admin and the password is one two three four okay as you see here is not allowing me to enter uh, through my apex system because i'm typing admin with uh, a as capital capital a it doesn't have to be like that it just have to be admin uh, with no capital a okay and then the password one two three four okay so it is the same for everybody so you guys uh, have to know that and understand that it's the same for everybody as you see here now i'm going to type the right um, configuration the, the right username admin without the capital a and then one two three four is the password click ok and if you take a look um, to the the box it's, it's going to say login uh, successfully okay so I, I did log in successfully and I'm just going to wait for the for the controller uh, to update. As you see, the bottom is saying update successful. So we already uh, did it, uh, did the, the upgrade software. OK. Then after that, I'm, we're going to click click update web pages. OK. After we are going to do that, then we're going to clear the cache of our uh web um, search uh, application whether it's mozilla firefox google chrome uh or safari okay i'm gonna show you how to do it uh, in uh, safari uh, i mean sorry in mozilla firefox which is the one i'm using okay so i'm just gonna wait i'm just waiting for it as you see uh, many things are going on uh it's basically updating everything uh, the good thing is that we already also create a copy of uh, all of the configurations that we have so if something goes wrong with um, what we're doing i at least have all the um, all the information saved okay as you see and if you go down you have all the information on how to click uh, how to erase the cache in, in all of the um, search engine programs okay so i'm going to show you how to do it 
in, in Google. In the menu bar, just go to Chrome and then go to clear browsing, browsing data. You can either brow, uh, erase the cache and all the information, or you can only erase the, the cache. But you have def you, you definitely have to erase the cache. If you don't want to erase the, the rest, it's okay. So as you see, it already finished um, doing everything, and now we're going to do it in Mozilla Firefox. So in Mozilla Firefox, you're just going to go to history, and then on history, you're going to go to clear recent history. Okay, and then you're just going to uh, select, uh, in this case, I'm just going to select the uh, erase the cache. Whether you, like I said, whether you can erase everything, passwords and everything. But in this case, I'm just going to uh, select uh, the cache option. Okay, so I'm going to clear it now. And like I said, my computer is kind of slow. So it's going to uh, take a couple of uh, seconds to uh, clear the cache and since i wasn't sure that it was doing it uh, as you see i'm going to type a couple of times to make sure the cache is done why they want us to erase the cache because they don't want us to uh, they don't want the two versions of the of the apex uh, fighting each other you know like the old version that we already uh, seen uh, with the new version that we're gonna we're about to open okay so like i said i'm gonna do it twice you can do it once if you feel like you are sure that uh, your computer has erased the cache already so i did it twice just to be uh, on the safe side okay so after we erase the cache of our computer uh, we have to go back to the email that they sent us and click on the second link. This second link will uh, take us through the Apex uh, Fusion website. Um, and over there, we have to uh, do the sign up. How are we going to sign up? We're going to click on I have review and agree the ter terms and conditions. As you see, he's now allowing me to do it because we have to click on the terms and conditions button. We, they want us to go through it, but of course nobody's going to do it. So I just went back and click um, and that I have review and agree to the terms and conditions. It's going to ask you for your name, your email, your username, your password, and your complete address. After you fill that out, then the only thing you have to do is click submit. So I'm just going to do it and pause the video and come back. So after you click the submit button, it's going to take you through the Apex login uh, uh, website. So I'm just going to log in. And then after I log in with my username that I choose and my password is going to ask me for uh, basically the permission uh, to log in and connect my my regular Apex that I had to my Apex Fusion, okay? So as you see, I'm gonna click Link Apex. And then what I did is that I went to the old uh, Apex browser and click on Apex Fusion link. I saw that it didn't do anything, so I just refreshed the page. Uh, Command R, if you're in, uh, in the Mac, obviously, you are following this uh, tutorial. And then, um, the token appear so i couldn't copy it so what i had to do is basically memorize the token and type it by myself because i couldn't copy it so the only other thing i, I did is i went back just to make sure that uh, the token was uh, right correctly okay so after i make sure that the token was right correctly i click on the link uh, Apex. So you see link successful. This Apex is now linked to Fusion. The only thing you have to do is click click OK and start uh, playing with it, basically. Well, guys, that's about it for this video. I hope this video is helpful. As all of you guys know, Apex Fusion will allow us to control our tank from anywhere in the world as long as we have an internet connection. You can also log on, log into uh, your Apex Fusion account through your 
iDevice or your mobile uh, device, you just have to go to apexfusion.com. So as I told you guys, since Apex Fusion is a cloud-based system, cloud-based program, you can access to it uh, anywhere in the world as soon as you have internet co connectivity. So I'm going to um, type Apex Fusion on my Safari uh, browser from my iPad so you guys can see Apex Fusion.com and click go and as you see it takes me to the Apex Fusion uh, website so the only thing I have to do is click on get control okay and as you see it, it prompts me to um, type my username and my password so I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna uh, pause the video and then I'll be back already so we're in um, as I told you before I'm wire I'm working wirelessly and I'm I'm at apex fusion uh, fusion.com through uh, under my my username the only thing I have to do is just click on that and as you see, uh, I'm able to see all the uh, parameters of, of my of my tank. Right now, it doesn't matter because the controller is not installed to the to the tank itself. That's the reason why I, I have a pH of 2.62 and the temperature of 77, which is which is perfect for a reef tank actually. Uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna just turn on the auto top off. And as you see, I already turn it off. Turn it on, okay? Put it in auto. Um, if, I believe if you click on uh, in the gear, you you will be able to to see all the uh, stuff that is going on, okay? This is something that I can go uh, through in another video. I can show you guys how to uh, program it. I've seen a couple of videos, but uh, I I feel like none of them really really show you. Um, how to start since the beginning uh, when I start using it I was like what the heck is all of this so I start doing my research and little by little I've been you know uh, understanding uh, the program itself but uh, I, I will definitely do a video for you guys so you can understand it since the beginning and basically guide you step by step so you guys can uh, once again understand and, and make it make the journey even better okay so i hope you guys like this video um, i hope this video is helpful uh, take care guys have a good one